All right, Tuesday, October 26th, I'm Tom Novak. This is your Bring Me the News and Novak Weather Update brought to you by All Energy Solar, harnessing the power of the sun to create affordable energy across our world, across the upper Midwest, located in St. Paul. So they are no doubt a Minnesota company. Thank you, All Energy, for sponsoring this update. And here we go. We've got a lot to talk about. First of all, we're going to talk about rain for the middle portion of this week. And then a big weather pattern change as we get into later this weekend and next week. What you're looking at right now is the visible satellite loop. And what I want you to concentrate on is, is what's happening here in the central plains. This is moisture now that's starting to advect northward out of the Gulf of Mexico and up towards the northern plains and upper Midwest. And this is going to continue now as we go through uh, the next uh, 24 to 48 hours, you can see the moisture here on the moisture channel loop. We call this the water vapor imagery from outer space. And of course, here's the Gulf of Mexico. And here comes this moisture now that's being sucked up into a storm system that's located over Colorado. It's spinning over Colorado. And as this storm system spins out into the plains over the next 24 hours, this moisture is going to get flung north towards Minnesota and western Wisconsin, and I think that's going to mean quite a bit of rain. All right, here we go. These are temperatures across the upper Midwest now in Minnesota, and we warmed well into the 50s today. Check this out. Uh, last I saw, it was in the mid-50s at MSP International. Now, as we go through tonight, temperatures are not going to drop off very much because we are going to have an increasing in the cloud cover tonight. And, of course, the winds will keep the temperatures up, so we'll only drop into the 40s tonight. And then tomorrow, temperatures are not going to go very far. We're going to be lucky to make it to near or into the low 50s. I think many of us will be stuck in the 40s with clouds and rain, especially as you head from the Twin Cities Metro on west. And I think that's gonna be the same story for Thursday too, as, uh, as clouds stick around for much of Thursday. And that should uh, keep us cool, at least relatively cool for this time of the year, although the average high should only be in the low 50s. Here's the jet stream, the River of Air at 30 to 35,000 feet. And look at where it is coming from here as we get into tomorrow. This is tomorrow morning and look at this jet stream. It is coming straight north and allowing Gulf of Mexico moisture to surge north into the upper Midwest. And that of course is going to produce our precipitation, or at least one of the important ingredients for precipitation. And that jet stream structure kind of sits in place throughout the day tomorrow. And even into Thursday, as we are still in the right rear quad of a jet streak that's going to be located over Manitoba in northwestern Minnesota. So I think that's one of the reasons why rain and clouds are going to stick around for much of the day Thursday. And it's not until we get to Friday, which you see uh, here Friday when we start to get more of a west to east flow in our jet stream and that should clear out the clouds for the weekend and actually setting us up for a pretty nice weekend. Here comes the moisture from the uh, precipitable water values now and you can see the moisture surging up out of Nebraska and Iowa straight from the Gulf of Mexico by the way into southern and eastern Minnesota and western Wisconsin as we go through the day tomorrow. In fact some of these moisture values these uh, precipitable water values are off the charts for late October, hence the reason why we should be expecting some soaking heavy rains over the next 24 to 48 hours. And like I had mentioned, the, the moisture and the clouds don't clear out of here until well, probably late Thursday and into Friday as we get a dry push of air from the Dakotas that finally comes in to the upper Midwest. But until then, we're going to get quite a bit of rain. Here comes the rain on future radar from the NAM computer model guidance. It really starts to hit hard as we get into tomorrow morning. This is right around 9 or 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. And you can see showers and storms. Some of there might even be some thunder with these showers breaking out across all of southern and central Minnesota tomorrow morning. And then look at that. The rain just sticks around for about a 24 to almost 36 hour period across the upper Midwest. And yes, it is not until we get to Thursday morning and early afternoon before that rain pushes out into Wisconsin. But I think the clouds are definitely going to hang tough. And how much rain can we expect? Well, the NAM computer model guidance is showing quite a bit of rain across Minnesota, especially as you head west of the Mississippi and St. Croix River Valleys. And it looks like the bullseye for rain is going to be right up the 35 I-35 corridor from the Minnesota-Iowa border on north to near Duluth. That's likely going to be the axis for heaviest rains. And that, of course, would be right through the heart 
of the Twin Cities Metro with a, over an inch of rain plus expected for many of us. And that's one of the reasons why I'm concerned about uh, much of Minnesota and portions of western Wisconsin, of course, a large portion of Iowa for significant rain potential. I don't think there's going to be any flooding with this rain, but definitely a rain that is going to soak in. And that's really, really good news for those of us that are looking for rain. And that's quite uh, many of us. Of course, the farmers probably not. But boy, we need this to replenish our soil moisture. All right, here's your extended forecast now. And there it is. Uh, we're not Temperatures are not going to be going very far here as we get into tomorrow and Thursday. But look at this beautiful warm-up for Friday and especially Saturday. Saturday looks like a really nice and unseasonably warm day with highs uh, surging into the low 60s. And then I think the bottom's going to drop out here as we get into early next week. In fact, looking towards the middle portions of next week, yeah, we could be talking about highs only in the 30s, even in southern Minnesota. All right, that's your forecast. Thanks for joining me, everyone. I hope you have a great evening. We'll talk to you tomorrow.